Finally, an affordable home in outer suburban area of Central Florida. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, all in for 310. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, fashion rules and guys I am in the outer suburban area of Central Florida, Orlando, Greater Orlando area and the house behind me is a 4 bedrooms, 2 bathroom, over 1800 square foot all in price for $310,000 with a lot of builder incentives. The first thing you're gonna notice is that you have this really nice big pad up front for your two car here and then you also have the two car garage. I love the elevation, it's on a 50 by 110 lot and it's in one of the areas that is growing by leap and bound. So I love that you have this nice walkway you know, I just love because sometimes some of the homes just kind of start right there and I like it when there is a little bit of walkway. I would have loved if this would have been all covered, but hey, for 310, I'll take it. So let's go inside and check this amazing affordable house. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful, affordable house. Guys, if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida, Greater Orlando, Tampa, Tampa Bay area, this is a great resource. Press that thumbs up button, show us some love, because we go all over Central Florida, Tampa, and Ocala areas to bring you builder models all throughout. Now, it is my sincere, uh, effort to make sure that I bring you all the floor plans that the builder has to offer because I often come across the builders and they have like 10 different floor plans but then they only have a decorated model of two. The model that I'm showing you today is a four bedrooms, two bathroom, 1817 square foot, all single story on a 50 by 110. And with this builder, it's everything at the end price. They have different packages. So your color of your countertop and your uh, cabinets and flooring may change but everything that you see is what you get and it is an end price and I have been saying this for a very very long time I know that the market has shifted quite a bit but this is your golden opportunity if you are looking to buy a place and you're looking for an affordable place with this builder they have some amazing incentives and I say this all the time because I have clients that are still waiting to time the market they were waiting when the rates were two and three percent because the prices were up they are now waiting because now the prices and the rates are up however with this builder they will do a buy down two percent so what it means is that if the current rate for owner occupied property is at seven or six they will bring it down depending upon how much money you're willing to put down to about six percent or so right now as we stand at the time of the shoot the rates for in, uh, for your primary home is almost 8%. So they will do that, but on top of that, they will also give you 10 to $20,000 for your closing cost. So you could be all in pretty much for nothing other than your down payment that goes towards the principal. So that is something to keep in mind. And if you are not sure about here where this area is, I am in Lake Wales, which is one of the outer suburban areas of Central Florida, Orlando. It's kind of middle of Tampa and, and Orlando area so you're about an hour 10 minutes or so depending upon the I-4 traffic and if you take expressway or not to the Orlando International Airport you're about an hour 20 to hour 30 to Tampa International Airport and Florida is very funny state because you can drive around and you see nothing 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 and then you go through this road and then all of a sudden there is a beautiful community there is a CDD it's two thousand dollars a year and the HO is just about $70, but get this, your internet is included in that. So that is Hanaluya. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that you have the standard door. The ceiling height of this is 9.4. And as you walk into the house, the house opens up and then you can actually see that. So you can see the front elevation. So that's why you don't see the full 9.4 here. The tiles that you see on the floor is the tiles that you get. So that is included. You also get refrigerator. You also get um, your stove, your range, your dishwasher. You do not get washer and dryer. However, you get about 10 to 20,000. And if you want to know more about the area, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. And that is where I talk about different areas. But look at this. This whole thing kind of opens up. You have a little bit, you know, I wouldn't say cathedral ceiling as such, but a little bit more elevation. It makes the whole house 
open up. The lot is actually 50 by 110. It's a fairly decent lot, but whenever you have everything on the first floor, you may not have enough room to be able to build a pool, but I'm going to take you outside. So you have a master bedroom right over there. You have a really nice, good size island. Actually, let me start by this area first, because you have this island, you get the double door fridge, and guess what? Hanaluya. 42 inch cabinets with the trim is included in the price. This is the size of your island. The difference would be depending upon that what house they have available. And guys, please, 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 if you've been thinking about it, instead of building from scratch, if you are, if, if most things can work for you, you're going to get a very, very good deal on inventory home. I used to say when, when the rates were so low that I have seen builder do things that I've never seen them do before. And now I'm seeing builder do things that I've never seen them, which is in favor of the buyer. Because I always say this, guys, if you can afford the payment, if you can afford the price, then you should make a decision. You shouldn't really time the market because if you are timing the market, I have people that are timing the market and guess what? They're still timing the market. And it's not real estate is something you want to buy and hold for a longer time. The good thing about this suburban area is that there's a lot of growth that is coming. There's a lot of infrastructure that is coming to it. So you're going to get in the earlies and then as things change, like I know in Claremont, like Claremont, nothing was there. And then all of a sudden Claremont just boomed. And in two years, the price is actually, if you bought a house for 350, it's now 500,000 for the same exact house two years before. Like two years before it was for like 350, now it's 500. So, so take it or leave it. This is just my suggestion to you. At the end of the day, it has to work for you and your family. And that's why I always say, don't worry about, hey, it's only 18, 17 square foot, worry about, does the house flows for me? Does it work for me? And the good thing is you're away from all the traffic that Disney has and Universal has, that Tampa has, you're kind of in the middle. So that may or may not work, but you're not very far from everything. And there is a lot of growth that is happening. So you have this beautiful cabinet. This is the color of the cabinet. You have all the space. You have the, the range hood right over here. And then I love that you have like a little bread station or a coffee station or whatever you want to call this. And then right over here, you have a decent sized pantry. Not a huge fan of these, but you know, for the price all in. Now that is a 310,000. Now it may go up a little bit, depending upon if it's a corner lot or if it's a lot facing water or if it's a lot that is facing uh, conservation or something. And then on this side, now it is a split floor plan because all your bedrooms and the secondary bathroom is here. And then you have the master on the other side and you also have the lanai. So let me go ahead and take you to the very first bedroom. And I usually want to stand in the corner so you kind of get a good idea of, of how deep that room is and everything. And then another thing is with these blinds, look, these are magnetic blinds and you also get the windowsill, which is a standard feature with the builder. I'm not a huge fan of these. I would have preferred a sliding door, but listen, like it has a good amount of space for you to, to put your clothes and do whatever you need to do. Now, as you would see that this house is vacant, it doesn't have much. I'm just trying to get to all the floor plans, as I mentioned before, to kind of give you a good idea because I don't know about you, but for me, when you look at the floor plan on a paper and when you walk the floor plan, it's a completely different ball game. So you have a little bit of a linen closet space right there. And then this is where you have your other second bedroom, a fairly good size. It could be a really nice starter up home or something that you're retiring into, comfortable within the price point with, with a payment that is affordable. You also have the closet space right over here. And guys, right now, I'm going to tell you with inventory home because we keep a list of all inventory homes with different builders and we know what one builder is doing compared to the other one and we know like which builder is offering because there is a builder out here on their inventory home they are giving you rates in five percent and just that you know how the math work they're able to do that because these are big companies that go out and borrow 100 200 million dollars at a lower rate because when you buy something in quantity you have the buying power so you can negotiate a better rate and then they allocate that money for single family home, owner occupied, VA loan or whatever. And that is how they're able to do that because on a general market, it's gonna cost you probably 20, 30,000 to, to get the rate buy down. And this is a rate buy down permanently. So for 30 years, and I say this all the time, market always fluctuates, market always change. And this is something that you need to decide what works. And if the rates, if the payment works, 
Because when the rates changes, guys, and I'm not saying that they will, but I know that real estate market is very cyclical. It goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways. If you're gonna be in there for long run, hopefully you have a good rate to start with. So if the rates go down, you refi, if they go up, you're already at a better rate. So that is something to keep in mind. And that is something that I always preach right across from it is your secondary bathroom. And you have the tiles here. I would have loved if they would have gone all the way up, but you also have the undermount sink with the same color cabinets. You have all this, I, all the house is tiled except your bedroom. So that is something great to know. So that is something to keep in mind because I know a lot of people now prefer tiles or, and they have some other options also, and I'll be doing some other models too. So that is something to keep in mind. And then this is your other secondary home, bedroom, sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger and then it has an angle to it. So you have all this space over here. Now with builder, with every single builder, you are not going to have the light, you will have a fixture for the light that you can actually have a fan. Um, and if you are building from scratch and if you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts, as a matter of fact, I created a playlist which has a lot of videos related to uh, inspection, what kind of inspections you need to get, what you need to be aware of, what things you should do. Please go ahead, do yourself a favor and watch that video because it will give you a lot of education. I personally build a home and trust me, I know a lot but wow, that was an eye-opening experience when I was dealing with the builder, with the delays, with things not going the way it should, and then when it's done, dealing with, with the um, our post closing. So there's a lot of things that you can learn and knowledge is power. At the end of the day, you wanna be able to make sure. And if you are looking to buy, you know, we are one of the best and, and don't take my word for it. You know, Google us, Facebook us, um, you know, just check us out. And now that I'm doing my song and dance on TikTok and Instagram, please check us out. We just also opened up Orlando Home Show, Orlando Home Show in Espanol. Um, Instagram and TikTok pages. We'll be soon posting videos of these beautiful models that we do. So just keep that in mind. And then you also have the closet space right over here. Now, let me take you all the way back because this is a really nice starter home. And as a matter of fact, I was actually surprised that they had a three bedrooms, two bathroom, about 1,517 square foot, which is a Dover floor plan. And somebody had it for rent and they were actually asking $2,100 a month. So it's also a good investment property because people are moving because the same house in Orlando is gonna be a lot more expensive or closer to Orlando. So that is something. So if you are thinking about investing, this could be a very good option. So you have all this area opened up and then you have your TV right over there. You have your lanai. Let me actually take you to the outside. It's not a covered lanai but your lot actually goes all the way till the wall. Now this is temporary because I asked the builder what this was. This is just temporary because they just put the, the Bahia grass and they're just watering it up so it kind of gets to and then it will cut it up and make it, make it look really nice. This house actually has sold. However, they have other homes that is also available but I was very pleasantly surprised that they're asking 2100 and they are getting 2100. So that is something to keep in mind, you know, uh, if you are thinking about from an investment point of view, or if you're thinking, you know what, I'm not gonna be moving now, but if you can buy now, and rent it out as an investment and then finally move in, you might be far ahead of a lot of people if you are able to do that. So that is something to keep in mind because I have a lot of clients that have bought their homes you know, and now they're renting them because they cannot move right now because of their job and they're not retiring and whatever the other reasons may be, but they bought something because I really, really don't see price coming crashing down. I do see that the price are not gonna go crazy up as they have and if the interest rate doesn't change, because when they do change, you have a lot of people waiting to just jump on it. So the moment the rate starts going back to those four, fives, and six. I don't think two, three will happen. Maybe the tail end of four, 4 4.75, 8, 5, 5 might happen in a year or so. We don't know and the time will tell. But all the people that have been waiting are going to jump on it and then guess what happens? We are back to that round circle that the rates are down, prices goes up because there is a huge demand. Florida is a state where a lot of people move into 
then move out of. So take it or leave it, just my suggestion, something that I am seeing every single day. And then right over here is your master bedroom. And it's a pretty good size. If you were building this from scratch, I would have definitely suggested to get some extra light. I always suggest to get some extra lights. It's a beautiful day today. The house is really well lit without any lights being open. And I just love when that happens. And then right over here, you have the master bathroom with the two undermount sink with the same color tile and the cabinets. And then over here, check this out guys. Wow, isn't this amazing? You, you go to closet by design, put a little island, change this into a little bit better and look at the space. It's a room by itself. Isn't that amazing? And then right over here is your water closet. Nothing extraordinary about it, but still a comfortable space. And that is something for you to know. And then right across from it is you have your walk-in shower. Now it comes the way you see it. So it doesn't come with the glass door. So you can always get one of those panels and get the, the drape and it will basically take care of it or get the glass panel later on. It's not that expensive, probably for a thousand dollars, you'll be able to do that. I hope our videos do bring in a lot of value. And if Spanish is your main language, make sure to check these models out in Orlando Home Show Espanol, where we do these models in Spanish. And again, guys, you know, I know things have changed drastically from what it was just about two, two years ago. And it is changing. I, I think the time will tell which way the market goes, but with the elections and with everything that is coming, we are yet to see what really happens. But I am telling you that there is a really good possibility to get a good deal on an inventory home. And if you, are thinking about coming, please give us a call. You will call somebody on my team. Uh, when you do call us, you will be talking to somebody on my team and their sole job is to collect the basic information, connect you to the agent that would be an expert in that area. And again, if you're not sure about the uh, areas, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. Until the next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.